morning gorgeous gals Melly Von Moonshine here with my second video um, today I thought I would do my uh, face routine um, this isn't gonna be my daily face routine um, because I don't do a mask every day um, I do it maybe once or twice a week um, I have really oily skin um, so I mean it's not like it's gonna really dry out but I don't want to overdo it with my skin um, I'm excited today because I'm gonna be trying a new product and a new DIY um, so this product that I'm gonna be trying out I've uh, read about it on uh, Pinterest I've heard about it on YouTube I've googled it um, I've had a friend or two say that they've tried it and they like it so I thought, eh, why not? Let's give it a shot. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a mask. Um, and it is Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. Um, world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. 100% natural calcium benonite clay. So this is what it looks like. And this is a one pound uh, container. Um... I bought this off of Amazon. It seemed to be the cheapest. It was about $9 and some change. Um, so yeah. Um, fill your face pulsate. <laughs> um, facials, acne, body wrap, clay baths, foot soak, chilled clay for knee packs, um, and insects bite, insect bites. Enjoy the benefits of clay in your own home. Beautify and refresh. It's a Sunday morning. I'm still a little sleepy. Mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water. Use a non-metal bowl and utensil. Stir the mixture well into a smooth paste. Add more clay or liquid as needed. Apply <clears throat> one fourth to one half inch to the face or other areas. Let dry for five to 10 minutes. For delicate skin um, and normal skin, you'll do 15 to 20 minutes. So basically 15 to 20 minutes is what you're gonna let it sit on. I would suggest if you have sensitive skin, try a little bit of, little bit on an area of your face first um, to make sure that you know you don't have a, like a really bad reaction. Um, fill your face pulsate. Um, you will feel a pulling and tingling sensation. Remove the clay by washing with warm water. Slight let redness of the fate of the skin, excuse me, is normal and will disappear in about 30 minutes. Removes impurities and dirt from the pores. Deep pore cleansing, world's most powerful facial. Um, so this one pound container, it says it makes up to 10 to 15 facials. Um, it says use one a, once a week um, for the family, more often for problem skin. Men love it too. Chuck, you're going to be trying this soon. <laughs> so it comes uh, with this sticker that it's sealed. And calcium benonite clay. So I'm going to go ahead and open it for you guys if I can. All right. And this is what it looks like inside. Clay. Um, wow, it's really, it's a powder. Really soft feeling. So yeah, so I'm gonna be doing that. Um, will I be doing a video of this? Yes, I will. Um, we'll see how that goes because that's gonna be new for me. <laughs> um, and then also I'm gonna do a DIY lip plumper. Yes. Um, I, I'm pretty happy with the size of my lips, but sometimes I wish they were just a little bit more plump. Um, I've tried the Sephora Lip Plumper. Um, it's okay. Um, it lasts for like maybe a little bit, but it doesn't really plump my lips up as much as it should. Um, so yeah, um, it's not bad though. Um, but I did uh, look on Pinterest, and I've also seen it on some other uh, I think on YouTube, I believe, um, a DIY plumber. So I have the instructions written down here. <laughs> um, so it's one third teaspoon of ginger powder, half a teaspoon of cayenne powder, 
uh, one third teaspoon of cinnamon powder, one drop of peppermint oil, and a teaspoon of olive oil. So you mix the powders and peppermint oil in a small mixing bowl. Um, then you stir in your olive oil, mix till everything is all mixed together well. <laughs> Um, and then you're going to massage into your lips for 20 seconds, then leave it in for two to three minutes, wipe off and see the difference. So with the ginger, cayenne and cinnamon and peppermint oil, these things I believe were going to work. <laughs> um, the videos that I've seen on YouTube, uh, the girls have noticed a difference. So I'm going to take a picture of my lips before and after and I will also be doing a video of this as well. Um, so without further ado, <laughs> um, I'm going to start my facial stuff. So I'm going to move into my bathroom. I'm going to my bathroom. Um, so I'm going to uh, wash my face with my lovely Tarte cleanser. Um, I use that and a little facial brush kind of scrubbing really good. So the mask is starting to dry. I do feel the tingling and the pulsating kind of weird, but then it kind of feels good. So yeah. 
Still got a ways to go, guys. <laughs> All right, ladies. This is what it looks like completely dry. Hard to talk. Um, yeah. The drier, the more it starts to dry, the more it starts to pulsate. And, um, I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. Tingle. There you go. It feels good, uh, but weird at the same time. So, yeah. This is it. Uh, these spots are dry. They look like they're wet, but they're dry. Okay. Okay. Alright. Time to rinse. All clean. Mask is off. Um, my face feels amazing. It feels nice and smooth. My pores are clean. Um, yeah, I mean, this shit's legit. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I'm, I'm at a loss for words because seriously guys, my face feels good. Um, I wish I can show like a close up of my pores, <laughs> but, um, yeah, my pores are really clean. Um, yeah, so that was amazing. All right, so before I do the lip plumper, I want to exfoliate my lips. Um, so I use the e.l.f. lip exfoliator, as you can see. There you go. As you can see, I use this quite often because this one's almost down to a nub, or actually is a nub, um, but I have extra, so no need to worry. So I use that, and then, um... I found these at Target. It's the Up and Up brand facial buffs, buffs, <laughs> cleansing little pads. Um, so what I like to do is go ahead and exfoliate my lips. Then I go over with this little buffing pad. It's not really rough, um, so it's not gonna like scrape your lips or scratch them up all crazy. Um, but it's just a, a little, I don't know. But yeah. So then I, you know, scrub my lips with this. Then I rinse it off. And then I would apply, apply my lip treatment. But before I apply the lip treatment, um, I want to do the lip plumper first. Because um, I don't want the treatment to interfere with the lip plumper, the DIY one. Um, so yeah, so let's start exfoliating. So I just... Um, I never time the stuff. <laughs> I'm bad about that. I don't time stuff. I don't like to measure things out. Um, so yeah, so if you ask me how long should I do this or how much, I don't know. <laughs> so I just go over it a few times, make sure to get all that scrubbing stuff on there. See? Alright. Oh, and then I like to clean this off because to get OCD about that um, so whatever I clean off the sides whoops help if I didn't smash the thing right all right so whatever I clean off the sides I just go ahead and put more on my lips all right so with this little sponge I like to wet it a little bit because it's dry and then I just her away. Now I do my lips outside, a little bit outside it around my lip. All right, so nice and scrubbed. Make sure to rinse it all off. And handy face towel. Pat dry. So I've noticed with this, when I scrub it, it tends to make my lips plumper, but that's just temporary, probably, probably because I'm kind of agitating my lips, getting all that dry stuff off. So lips are nice and clean. All right. So I'm going to go get the ingredients for the um, lip plumper and I'll be right back. All right, ladies, I'm back. I've got my olive oil. Yes, that is a clearance sticker. It is not expired. It's good till November. Um, if you know me, I am a big clearance junkie. That's besides the point. Um, I got my cayenne pepper. Oops. Cinnamon powder. Ground ginger. And peppermint oil. This is um, 
let's see topical or dietary use so it's not gonna hurt if you ingest it or you know have it in your mouth so if you do decide to do this um, DIY ladies make sure you get things that are um, safe to eat um, yeah I just don't want you ladies to get sick or anything like that all right treatment. Okay, so um, I'm going, before I do the lip treatment, I'm going to use a toner on my face. Um, I've had a hard time finding a toner that actually works good. Some that I've tried before um, tend to really dry out my skin or make me break out. So I took a chance. Um, I believe someone told me about number seven products. Um, they sell them at Target, I know for sure, and I think Walgreens. So I got number seven. Um, this is Beautiful Skin Balancing Toner for normal oily skin. Helps balance oily, I'm sorry, helps balance oil product production for shine-free skin. It's hyperallergenic. And yeah, as you can see, I use this quite often. Um, not too often, because I don't want to overdo my face. So I'm going to go ahead and put some toner on my face after the mask. And I just use a cotton ball. And by the way, my lips are still tingling from the DIY lip plumper. Alright, 
So we got that done. Yeah, so I would say that DIY lim lip plumper is two thumbs up. That shit is good. Um, yeah, my lips do feel plump. They're still tingling. Um, I'll give an update on how long it stayed tingling for. Oh, so, um, in one of my uh, past Ipsy bags, I received this Hanalei lip treatment little tube. Um, <clears throat> This stuff is great. Um, once again, one, one other thing that I like to use sparingly because it's just a little tube. So I just get a little bit on my finger and rub it into my lips. Yeah, so my lips feel super plump tingly <laughs> um yeah my face feels amazing after that mask I wish I could say my hair looks good but it looks like a hot mess um I, it's a Sunday morning so I'm not gonna get all dolled up sorry that's just not my style you see me as is all right ladies so that's it for today um I hope you enjoyed all of this um yeah look at my lips look comfortable my face is a little bit red, but they said that that's normal. It'll go away in 30 minutes. But my face feels good otherwise. Thanks for watching, gorgeous gals. Until next time, Millie Von Moonshine out.